Hello everyone. Let's talk about uh, the administrative information systems in this lecture. I will use a short term AIS to represent the administrative information systems throughout this lecture. The purpose of uh, AIS is to record and manage the information of uh, healthcare resources that uh, a healthcare organization has. We want to record this information so that we can have an overview about the resources we have. And we want to optimize the use of those healthcare resources so that we can provide a better care service to patients. Uh, AIS consists of uh, several important components. Let's talk about them one by one. The first important component is called the case management information systems. We want to archive the patient's data into our database, just like what we do in a EHR system. A very important purpose of doing this is to find out if some patterns exist between external factors and a patient's illness. For example, we want to find out if there is a correlation between a patient's occupation and uh, the patient's chance of getting diabetes. After collecting a large population of patients' data, we can build an analytical model to identify this correlation. If the correlation really exists, next time when we get a new patient, we can ask uh, what type of jobs the patient is doing, and then we can use our analytical model and the case management information system to predict how likely this patient has diabetes. Another important function is to provide a better care plan to patients. Just like uh, the previous example, if we can find out uh, a correlation exists between the patient's job and uh, the chance for him or her to get diabetes, next time when we admit a new patient, we want to ask the, the patient what types of job he or she is doing. If the patient is doing some stressful job, then we can take some intervention actions and provide a better care plan to the patient to prevent the patient to get diabetes. By providing the preventive care, we can save some cost and pains from the patient. Because a case management information system tracks down the patient's medical conditions and performance over the patient's lifetime, we can accumulate a large amount of information and data about the patient. With the increased knowledge about the patient, we can provide a better care service and a care plan for the patient. This is the first component of an AIS system. Next, let's talk about the communication system. It's another important component of an AIS system. Historically, the communications were done between hospitals and the patients by emails. And usually, hospitals or clinics stored the patient's emails in a separate database. This is not very helpful because there is a disconnection between a patient's contact information and the patient's medical records. That's why communication systems have been improved in the contemporary AIS system. More and more hospitals or healthcare organizations integrate the patient's contact information into their AIS system. They develop the patient portal. Through the portals, a hospital can send emails or updates to patients. And also they can provide emotional support information or health awareness information to patients through the patient portals. The third important component is the core business systems. There are four important applications of such systems. They are admission, discharge, and transfer system, financial system, acuity system, and the scheduling system. Let's talk about them. We want to use the ADT system to record the patient's contact information, such as the patient's name, medical record number, contact phone number, and mailing address. To doctors, they are important. 
the doctor will know who this patient is. To healthcare organization administrators, the statistics of patient information is important. For example, the hospital administrators want to know how many patients the hospital provides service to, uh, what's the average income levels, what is the average age of uh, the patient population, and so on. A financial system is critical in an AIS. It is used to record a patient's medical expenses and the patient's payment information. We also need to use the financial system to record revenues and expenses for our organization. For example, salaries for doctors and nurses, expenses for purchasing a medical equipment, and so on. When we talk about a EHR system, we said uh, interoperability is critical. Interoperability is also very important to a financial system. When you manage a financial system for a hospital, you want to communicate with major insurance companies to make sure that your financial system is compatible to the insurance databases so that you can share patients' information with the insurance companies and your hospital can get reimbursed in a timely manner. The acuity system and the scheduling system are dependent. Once we admit a patient in our hospital or clinic, the acuity system can evaluate the severity of a patient's illness. Then the hospital administrator can make a plan of what equipment is needed and how many nurses are needed every day for a patient. Another important component of AIS is the order entry system. It is used by doctors or nurses to prescribe and order medications for a patient. In a modern AIS system, the order entry system is usually connected with the databases or order systems of a pharmaceutical company. Once a doctor or nurse place the order, the pharmaceutical company should be able to receive this order and then deliver medications for a patient. At the same time, the pharmaceutical company should be able to retrieve the patient's insurance information and get reimbursed from the insurance company.